Ibiza, the party island. It's definitely not famous for its food or sightseeing, but it should be. Aside from the clubs and parties, it's full of unbelievable restaurants, hidden bars, secret beaches, and so much more. I'm about to show you some of the best places to eat and visit while you're on the island. Welcome to sunny Ibiza. We're here for a week. I'm gonna show you some of the best places to eat, some of the best things to see. Probably not any clubs, if I'm honest. A bit more of a chilled one. And I hope you enjoy this Ibiza vlog. The first thing we did was rent a car and head out for a walk to see parts of the island we'd never seen before. We've been to Ibiza six times before and never really explored. The car was £150 for five days and well worth it for what we got to see. Fucking hell, it's hot, sweaty. That is a rock, the Isle of Vedra. 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 Isle of Vedra. And it is very impressive. Sarah told me earlier that there are aliens that live underneath it. I don't know where she heard that from. Someone who's had too much fucking care. Aliens underneath this, yeah. Yes. <sighs> Beautiful. After checking into our hotel, we took a trip to Ca Nesmeralda for a bite to eat and to watch the sunset. The setting was beautiful right on the beachfront. We ordered some patatas bravas as well as some beef and pistachio and lemon chicken croquettes. We also got a banging tuna tartar and plenty of beer. Watch the lovely, lovely sunset here at Carnaresmeralda. Can 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 yeah. We're all fed and now we're going to go play some mini golf where I'm going to slap her up. <laughs> I think so. I brought, I brought my clubs and she wouldn't let me go to the room and get my putter. So I've got a, you know, it's an even playing field for sure. But I wouldn't have minded Pro V1 on a putter. Do you know what I mean? That was a lovely, lovely, relaxed day. Our first day, we're easing into it. Bit by bit, you know? Feel the tip of Ibiza. But we're at the hotel now. And we're gonna go to bed. It's another blisteringly hot day. In Ibiza. Oh shit. Drop me fucking lens cap. Sarah's not feeling too well today. Bless her. So she's stayed in the hotel. And I'm going on a little bit of a solo ramble. Don't know what I'm going to do. Just going to play it by ear, I guess. See where the fuck I end up. So I'm on a water taxi. Which takes me straight in to the bay there. And this way, I get to have a candelaga. Get to go on a little bit of a boat cruise. And there's a dog here as well. Absolute bliss. It's four euros worth every penny. So I found a place that does apparently the best club sandwich in Ibiza. So let's see what this place has got to offer. It's called Rita's. That bacon is so, so crispy. That is so crispy. And that tomato is so fresh. People said it was the best, I didn't believe it. It's got Thousand Island dressing on it, which is basically just Big Mac sauce. Wow. Just look how crispy that is. <laughs> I want another one after this. <laughs> I can't. I can't put this into words how good this is, genuinely. 
These are better than the ones that I do at home. And I was so proud of those ones. Been IB for about six times. Uh, never really loved San Antonio, but I've never been to Rita's before. So, get there just for that reason. Other than that, you know, if you're young, you've never been here before, you have to see the strip, you have to see what it's all about. Sure, go for it, but, you know, mid-30s. I'm just about the Club Sandos now, mate. I went to get the water taxi home, and uh, he's not doing it until 3 p.m., unfortunately. You know, I just wanted to make sure Sarah's okay, but, <laughs> hey, if I can't get back, that's <laughs> not too much of a problem. So I just got off the water taxi, which I thought was taking me back to the hotel. Turns out, they went all the way past the hotel, and now, I'm in this lovely little beach area and he's not leaving again for another two hours so oh god this is what happens when you have a couple of drinks just jump on a boat this wonderful woman here came to pick me up after my little mishap on the boat and now we are on the way to what TikTok tells me is the best restaurant in Ibiza. You go to any TikTok and it says, best restaurants in Ibiza, top five restaurants in Ibiza. This is on every single fucking one of them. We'll let you know how good this place is. What's it called again? Amanti. We're going to Amanti. Amanti is probably one of the most famous restaurants on the island and it's easy to see why. I mean, the view's a joke. So let's, uh, let's see if the food it's as good as what I'm looking at right now because fucking Jesus Christ. The vibes in here are, are wonderful. The uh, the service is fantastic already. We got the crystal bread with fresh tomato to start, along with a fresh salad and some Iberico ham. We have this lovely look at this this bread. Oh, get a little bit of a, a little bit of a tomato on there, and then we are going to go in straight away. Oh, this Iberico ham. Mm. Oh my god. That is so refreshing. It's the century equivalent for the taste buds of taking a cold shower. I don't know how you make bread like this. Oh, air. For the main course, it was a lobster and seafood paella, which came in an enormous pan. Oh my god. Oh my god. This... Sometimes you get hit with something that you can't really explain. A bit of lobster meat, a bit of the rice. Oh, it is special. That is so special. For dessert, a pistachio tiramisu. On the way back, we stopped at a lovely bar tucked away in the woods called Bambudu. The restaurant looked class, but we'd already consumed half of the shellfish in the Mediterranean, so only stayed for the one drink before heading back for more mini golf. We're at Big Cuts.
take first pot on one knee. Okay, wanted to enjoy that and not film it. I did enjoy it. Did you enjoy it, my love? I did, even though I lost. How many did you lose by? I can't remember. I think you had 94. You had 94 and the par was 50. I was 56. Night, everyone. Day three in Ibiza, and as you can see, I'm going to play golf today. Got my caddy here. Give her a few goes on the putting green. You were good last night, weren't you, at the old uh, mm. mini golf? Mm. You broke 100. Mm. One day I'll do a golf YouTube, but not today. Round of golf is done. We're here at, what's this place called, my love? Um Beach. UM Beach. Um Beach. Gonna have some food, some fish, some patatas bravas, a few beers, a bit of a sit in the sun and have a really, really nice time. UM Beach is in Santa Eularia, Deru, and it's literally on the beach. Everywhere we go, Sarah orders the patatas bravas because she's a carb machine. We also got the catch of the day, which was a big chunky turbot, served with sauteed veg and baby new potatoes. This fish, freshly caught today. Oh my god. It's just fantastic. It's fantastic in every single sense of the word. God, I wish I lived by the sea. Wow. And looking out at that as well, makes it 100 times better. So I just uh, got changed in the toilets and then paid the bill and then tipped the barman well. Hey, old brother, you all right? And he's giving me a shot, which is dangerous. So I'm going to have that. Oh, fuck it out. Cheers, everyone. I know it's a little bit of a different vlog. Normally it's, you know, city vibes. Taking it down a notch. There's sun here and we're just going to chill show you the best places to chill. Back in the room, got dressed for this evening. Hey, look at this, by the way. Look at this. Wow. <laughs> wow. Footnote, I have extended my stay. We were meant to be flying back on Saturday. I've extended my stay to next Friday. And a few of the lads are coming out. Sarah's leaving on the Monday now. So she's gonna stay for a few more days. Now we are in literally the steak restaurant opposite our hotel. Una cerveza, por favor, un vodka limon? Yeah, you want one? Nah, I'm a fuck. I eat with you. No, I'm fuck that shit. You want to see the guitar? <laughs> <laughs> Tables getting changed, lovely stuff. Thank you. Need a bigger, need a bigger oh, table for a bigger steak, do you know what I mean? That was cooked to perfection by whoever who cooked it. <laughs> mm. Crispy, fluffy. Dip it in the beef juices. This is fucking class. Genuinely. And it's right opposite my hotel. I had a really nice dinner and now I'm gonna be sick. Back home in the hotel and we are gonna to go to bed. So. See you in the morning. <laughs> God, film this. Morning, another lovely day here in Ibiza. I've got some actual breakfast to cook today, so 
Got this from a deli. Got some, I think that's, I hope it's parsley. Could be anything, not sure. Um, the biggest pepper I've ever seen. Got that. Some butter. Spanish butter. Some chilies. A singular tomato. An onion. Some garlic. Pretty sure I got some Ibiza cheese as well somewhere. There it is. Look at this. Queso. Queso de Cabra Fresco. And I don't really know what I'm going to do with all this. I've got some eggs as well. Uh, some paprika and some hot sauce. And some bread. And the only knife that I have is this. So let's see what we can do. I didn't really know what I was going to make here, but I knew it would be something on bread. So I chopped up the onion and the pepper and cut them in that Spanish butter until they were super soft. A bit of garlic and a few chilies and paprika in there too. I put that to one side and then melted some of the beef and cheese in the pan with an egg. I don't know what I was doing with the tomato either, so I just put it all together with some of that Iberigo ham and somehow it worked. Oh my God. God! Hungry? Fuck me! Right, we're off to a beach, a little secret beach that I found using TikTok. So, I don't know how secret it's actually going to be, but it looked pretty secret. I think we have to go this way, but don't really know, if I'm being honest. I don't think I've ever seen water this clear and blue before. It's just round the way from Cala Torida, up around the cliffs. On Google Maps, it's called Casete de Pescadores, which translates to fishermen's clubs. It's a secluded cove where I guess fishermen used to live in these huts. It's well worth a trip, but bring drinks and food because there are no shops there at all. What a lovely day we've had at that beach. Lovely little beach. And now we're gonna head out to a place called Tapas Ibiza. And one of these cans of Jebeca, Exebeca, oh, fuck knows. But it's good stuff. Sarah's ready to go. I'm ready to go. So let's go. Tapas Ibiza is in San Antonio and does some of the best tapas on the island. We ordered the mini chorizo sausages, more patatas bravas, chili and garlic prawns, belly pork, meatballs, and this spinach, mince, parmesan and cream dip. Mm, oof, man. Mm. How's this? That's some boy. What the fuck is that? That's beef, spinach, and cream, and some other stuff. There are about fucking 150 people that sent me messages saying, "Come to tap us, I beef it." Oh, that brother sauce is the best I've had in the hour so far, by the way. Here we go. That is so juicy, that. It comes with an apple sauce. Mm. We're going to go in on one of the prawns. Oh my good God. It's in San Antonio. Just down the road from Linica's Bar. Meatball time. That's so good. Mm. It's called Tapas Abita. <coughs> 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 
and it's absolutely phenomenal. Just got in. It's uh, 11 o'clock. Went to watch football. Some shitty sports bar. Didn't even bother recording it because it was shite. Um, I've got a couple of Chelsea defenders in my fantasy football team. So, I uh, thought I'd go and watch that. But this isn't a football vlog, this is a food vlog. So tomorrow, there's going to be more food, there's going to be more drinks, there's going to be more fun, action, and I will see you there. Good night. Morning everyone. Today we're going to do a little bit more exploring. We're going to go to a, a nice little beach, and then we're probably going to have something to eat. Uh, maybe go into the old town, see a little bit of that, we've not been there yet. And all in all, I think it's going to be an absolutely lovely, lovely time. Sa Caleta is one of the most picturesque beaches on the island, so if you want some nice pics for the gram, it's well worth a visit. You can walk through this little pass for a lovely view of the beach from the clifftops. The beach itself is quite secluded, so not too busy compared to the main ones. There's a restaurant overlooking the sea as well. So we've got a couple of hours to uh, take in what the old town has to offer and then we're going straight back to uh, Lineker's Bar to watch United ruin my holiday against Nottingham Forest. The old town of Ibiza is full of quaint bars and restaurants serving local delicacies, pretty much the opposite of San Antonio where you've just got ketheads from Birkenhead stumbling about after one too many lines in Ocean Beach. We found a little sandwich shop called Can Gourmet tucked away in the street the menu was seriously impressive, but we went for the roast beef, stracciatelle and pistachio cream. Let's have a bit of this then, shall we? Looks unbelievable. I can't believe this. <laughs> and they had berico ham, stracciatelle and fig jam. Let's see what the Arabica one's like with the fig jam and the straccia chow. Good man. Oh my god, man. It's so good. It's so good. Perfect, thank you. <laughs> this is one of the best, this is genuinely one of the best sandwiches in the world. Mm. The bread. So crispy. That just like falls apart. Crystal, the fig jam, so sweet, creamy such a gel, and obviously that incredible Iberico ham. You have to come here. You have to come here. Please come here. Mm. Everyone needs to taste this. Everyone needs to taste this. Fuck. The previously to this, my favourite sandwich was in Milan. And it was that, I forgot the fucking place, but it's a dead famous place, massive queues. I think this is up there with that, genuinely. I could have eaten another three of them. Bit of a change of scenery now, as we go back to San Antonio, to Lineker's bar, Wayne Lineker, because I need to watch the football. Surely United can't ruin this beautiful day, can they? Would they? Could they? But after that, it was just a few chances. He's offside. They can. We're okay. We're okay. Okay, so we have just arrived at our new hotel because we decided to extend and we have a sea view. Look at this. Look at this wonderful woman eating crisps here. Are, they, are those crisps good? They look amazing. Mm. They're like kettle crisps. You give me anxiety by opening at the bottom though. Sorry. We've not had any pizza since we've been here. And we fancy it tonight, so we're gonna go to this place. And let's see what it's like. Amarai is a pizza restaurant, but they also do a kebab inside pizza dough. That's right. A bit like a calzone. We also had their star pizza where each of the five pockets has a different filling decided by the chefs. Oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. 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 
off, my man. I'm gonna eat it, I guess. <laughs> it's just such good stuff. Yes. Why don't we put kebabs inside? pizza dough in the UK because we need to we need to start doing it now right fucking now right fucking now we're off to the hotel now got I'm gonna have at least six of these tins a load of crisps and then I'm gonna sleep until fucking oh my god they're, oh, they're all falling out why didn't you let us get bags <laughs> Why didn't you let us get bags? Because I like chaos. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Oh, oh, God, yeah. <laughs> Good morning from a very wet and windy and stormy Ibiza this morning. We've not really been able to leave the hotel until now. We're starving. Yeah, the lifts aren't working because of the storm, so that's nice. We got a power cup. All the signal went on our phones. It's been a bit of a mad one, really, but uh, we're off to brave the storm. We're going to get a taxi to a place called Mundo Street Food to uh, see what that's all about, because a lot of people on Instagram said go there. So here we go, let's get wet. Mundo clearly takes inspiration from the UK street food market scene. The menu was extensive, from wings and katsu curry to burgers and hieros. But it was Sunday, so we opted for the Yorkshire pudding wrap with a lovely rare beef stuffing and horseradish. And if I see a spice bag on the menu, you best believe I'm ordering it. Covered in curry sauce, obviously. Just had a lovely bit of scran from Mondo Street Food. Can definitely recommend that. If you've had something dirty, not very traditional. I'm sweating, it's, the sun's out again. We're back. We are back. Jono's given me the camera because he is still, still, sat in Lineker's bar watching football and I said oh I really would like to go to your Shire tonight no I want to watch the football so I went and lay on the beach I was having a nap and I could hear my phone going bing bing I was like oh what is this and it was Jono with two tickets to your Shire for tonight so I have left him still in Lineker's bar I have a bag of tinnies and um, some vodka miniatures to try and smuggle in and this will be the last of the vlog because we cannot take the camera in tonight oh, I've lost the car I can't take the camera in um, I wonder if Jono will edit, edit this out if you haven't, thank you my love for my big screen debut but if you have, no worries warm out today um, Last night was a lot of fun, um, and today I'm going to go on a little bit of a walk, Sarah's a bit worse for wear, she's in the hotel room, I'm going to go sit and chill in the sun with a beer and some food. Casbar is a brunch spot with a view, it's in San Antonio just around the bay and it overlooks the sea. The waves were still quite big after yesterday's storm. I went for the salmon and poached eggs on a crispy potato rosti, which was absolutely fantastic. <laughs> All right, we're by the pool uh, in our hotel. Sarah's having a little bit of a... Uh, breakdown. A little bit of a breakdown as there's some, there's some issues with some air traffic control, which has just hit the news. Um, and it doesn't look like Sarah's gonna be able to fly home tonight. It also doesn't look like my friends are going to be able to come out and join me. She's got work tomorrow, she's got clients, she doesn't want to let down. I don't have work tomorrow. This is my work. You never have work. Hey! <laughs> hey, it's going to be okay. You'll be okay. So, what's going to happen? 
is... I'm going to my <laughs> I'm going to go to the airport with Sarah. Because make... he doesn't want to see me cry on my own. Yeah, she said she's going to cry on her own, if, if not. I've got a feeling she's going to be there for a very long time. There are some horror stories on Twitter about eight-hour, nine-hour delays. I mean, I'm staying here anyway. I don't give a fuck. You're not putting that in the vlog. <laughs> Maybe I'll put a clickbait title on the vlog, like, we couldn't leave Ibiza. I can't. I it's not can... clickbait, it's true. We can't leave Ibiza. Oh, that's a big headline. That's what the vlog's going to be called. That's what, that's what it's going to be called. And then people will click it and be like, oh, what happened to these guys? So, Sarah finally made it home yesterday. Um, she's now back at the house. Uh, unfortunately, the lads who are coming out to meet me have been affected by the air traffic control delays from yesterday that have sort of gone into today as well. Um, so I'm just sat here on my own, doing absolutely fuck all. I've got a tin, so. The lads are here. I'm not sure that I'll be able to finish this vlog. And that's being completely honest. So, we'll call it a day here. I hope you enjoyed this Ibiza vlog. <laughs>